your buyer or seller use the same email address and you need to get an individual signature from both of them. So how will you do this? Let's say you've already created the transaction. Now you're ready to use AuthentiSign to get their signature. Here's your transaction, 1234 Crestview Drive. All right, so your participants, click the Add button, Add New Participant. Let's just say this is a husband and wife, and they share the same email address. So John Smith, who's the buyer, you will need to assign him his own signing pin. To keep it authenticated, you need to give it to him privately. Since he shares an email with his wife, you can't email it, but you can either text it or call him, etc. Add. Now we're going to add his wife. And they share the same email address. All right, so she is also the buyer. And you're going to assign her her own PIN. And since she shares an email with him, you can't email it, but you can either text it or call her, etc. This is going to be a different PIN. Add. All right, now the documents that you're wanting to send them. All right, so buyer one is John Smith, buyer two is Jane Smith. Save. Now we're going to create the design. All right. Here we go, buyer one. Buyer two. If these didn't automatically appear, this is where you would signer one is John Smith. You would drag this down and put it here. And then you would drag Jane Smith and pull her name right here. Next step. Okay, this is where you're going to customize the invitation email subject and text. John Smith is going to send it to him first. You can see they share the same email address. You can put for John Smith only. Hi John, this is where I need your signature. And then for Jane, whenever he's done signing, it will automatically send this to her. For Jane Smith only. Hi Jane. Please sign and hit save when you are done. Save and send. Okay, the invitations were successfully sent. Okay. And now I'm John Smith. I just received the email from my agent. And you can see, hi John, this is where I need your signature. Hit save when you're done. Mm, okay. You can either click the image below or click here to begin the signing process. Okay, I just opened up my form. I'm going to keep the font style as is. It remembered my password. If not, I would type in my password as John Smith. The signing pin that my agent gave to me personally, I'm going to type that in and hit confirm and accept. All right, so I'm going to start the signing process and it's going to take me where I need to sign. I'm gonna click on it and it's going to use the signature that I made for myself and here's the date. Okay, complete. Complete signing. Yes, I'm sure I wanna continue. Thank you for using AuthentiSign. John Smith is done, so it's going to automatically send Jane Smith the email. All right, Jane Smith, please sign and hit save when you're done.
click here to begin. Alright, after clicking the link, it's going to bring me to this page. I'm Jane Smith, and I'm new to the process, so I'm going to create my password here. The signing pin is the number that my agent gave me privately. Make sure these are checked, confirm, and accept. This is the form that I need to sign, so I'm going to hit start. And then it's going to bring me down to where I need to sign. I can see that my husband has already signed it on this date, so I'm going to click sign here. And it's going to use the font that I chose and automatically date it. Complete complete signing. Yes, I want to continue. Jane is done. Then it will send you, the agent, an authenticized signing final revision for your transaction. Congratulations, it has been successfully reviewed and signed by all parties. I hope this helps.